Watching the Old Faithful Geyser erupt is a Yellowstone National Park tradition. People from all over the world have traveled here to witness this famous geyser. The park's wildlife and views may be just as famous today, but it was unique thermal features like Old Faithful Geyser that inspired Yellowstone's founding as the world's first national park in 1872. Old Faithful is one of nearly 500 geysers in Yellowstone and one of six geysers currently predicted by park rangers. It's rare to be able to predict regular geyser eruptions and Old Faithful lives up to its name, only extending the time between eruptions by about 30 minutes in the last 30 years. Thermal features change constantly and it is possible that Old Faithful will stop erupting one day. Geysers and other thermal features are evidence of ongoing volcanic activity beneath the surface and change is part of this natural system. Yellowstone preserves natural geological processes so visitors can continue to enjoy these natural systems. Watch the eruption from the Old Faithful viewing area or along the trail that circles the geyser and through the upper geyser basin. When visiting Old Faithful, you can find out when the next eruption is expected at the Old Faithful Visitor Education Center. The Old Faithful Inn was designed by Robert C. Reamer, who wanted the building's asymmetry to reflect the chaos of nature. Built in the winter of 1903-1904, the Old Faithful Inn is one of the few remaining wooden hotels in the United States. It is a masterpiece of rustic architecture in its stylish design and fine craftsmanship. His influence on American architecture, especially garden architecture, was immeasurable. The building is a rustic log and frame structure of giant proportions, nearly 700 feet 213 meters long and 7 stories high. The hotel lobby has 65 foot 20 meters ceilings, a large rhyolite fireplace, and railings made of crimped lodgepole pine. Stand in the lobby and look out at the open-air building, or walk up the gnarled wooden stairs to one of the balconies. Wings were added to the hotel in 1915 and 1927, and today there are 327 rooms available to guests at this National Historic Landmark. Touring exhibit about the geological forces behind Old Faithful and Yellowstone at the Old Faithful Visitor Center. Kids of all ages can get the Rangers Junior Ranger and Young Scientist booklets. Evidence of the geological forces that shaped Yellowstone is abundant in this district. The hills around Old Faithful and the Upper Geyser Basin are reminiscent of quaternary rhyolitic lava flows. These flows, which occurred long after the cataclysmic eruption 600,000 years ago, flowed across the landscape like mounds of bread dough stiffened by its high silica content. Evidence of glacial activity is common, and this is one of the keys to making geysers possible. Glacier deposits underlie geyser basins that provide storage for water used in eruptions. Many landforms, such as the Porcupine Hills north of Fountain Flats, consist of glacial gravel and are a reminder that 13,000 years ago, this area was buried under ice. Signs of the forces of erosion can be seen everywhere, from runoff channels created across Sinter in geyser basins to drainage created by the Firehole River. Mountain buildings are clearly visible as you drive south of Old Faithful, toward Craig Pass. Here the Rocky Mountains reach an elevation of 8,262 feet 2 meters, dividing the state into two distinct watersheds. <laughs> 